Hey YouTube, welcome to TCTN. Thank you for being here to help me moisturize my lips with chapstick. <laughs> I did my beige face. But you know I gotta wait for y'all for my chapstick. And my lips thank you for it. Okay, this video is a collab of sorts with Monica. I was watching videos and I saw her pan this palette video and so for this year she's panning Natasha Denona Leela palette and I was like oh, I have Leela I love Leela oh my gosh <laughs> and so I contacted her <laughs> and asked her if she wanted to do a collab where we both do looks just so you guys can see how the colors look on different skin tones and so she agreed and so that's what this is and so we're each going to do two different looks um, I'm picking four colors for us to use and she's picking four colors for us to use and we're both going to do a look with the four colors that we each choose. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> and so I'm excited to see the looks that we both come up with. I'm interested to see if we end up putting the same colors like in the same places, like the same crease color, the same lid color. Um, the same inner corner highlight between the four colors that we use and also just for you guys to see how the shades look the same shades look on different skin tones and so I'm really excited about this and so this is what mine looks like she did rearrange her palette which she showed and I had to rewatch her video to see how she rearranged it because when I just saw Leela I just got so excited I wasn't even paying attention to <laughs> That she had rearranged her palette. But without being rearranged, this is what Leela looks like. And so I'm going to show you, I'm trying to remember looking at it, which colors I picked. So the colors I chose was Nude Vimo, which is a creamy matte. I chose Viola, this color up here, which is a metallic. And I chose Amethyst, which is a metallic. And I chose Juno down here which is a satin or a sparkle, it says S. And so I'm going to swatch them. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I do have a playlist with this palette. And I did looks by rows and by columns. And so if you want to check those out, you can. And so this is Nude Vino. This is Viola, this is Amethyst, and this is Juno. So these are <laughs> the four shades I chose that I'm going to do a look with today. And I'm going to add on to this video the second look I did um, with the colors she chose. And I'll also do swatches and show you what those colors are as well when we get to that day. But it will be added to this video. So it's two looks, one palette video. I'm going to start first by taking Viola and I'm just going to put this all across the lid. I don't know what this is going to look like. <laughs> this is interesting. And I'm using, I didn't prime my lid. I am tripping. What the heck am I doing? Oh my gosh. I'm like so excited that I don't even know what I'm doing. And I have a migraine too and I took my migraine medicine. And it makes me loopy, and so I then drank Mountain Dew to help just keep me alert. So I'm just... <laughs> if you're hearing what sounds like construction, that's the snow plows <laughs> outside in the parking lot. This is my Fenty eyeshadow primer. Okay, now we're going to go in with Viola. This is a Scott Barnes number 61 brush. I have forgotten how vibrant these colors are. And I really like this brush. I'm going to now take <laughs> Amethyst this shade here into the crease i don't know what that's going to look like in the crease and this is another scott barnes barnes brush number 62. 
I don't think I've done this combination before. I don't remember putting purples in the creases. When I used the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette 10, I did a blue on the lid and a purple in the crease. And that was, I believe, my first time using purple in the crease. And I really liked how that look came out. I was nervous doing it and I was like so anxious. And I really liked it. So now I'm not hesitant to put purple in the crease. <laughs> I'm going to take Amethyst also and do an outer V. We'll create an outer V. I'm also going to take that Amethyst and run it along my lower lash line. I'm going to take Nude Vino. And what am I going to do with that one? <laughs> Further blend out my crease, and I think this might be a little dark. Ooh, this is going to be like a dark look. Eh, okay, we can do that. Well, we already did it, so now we got to do the other side too. I should have started that color on the outer corner because now it's like really dark right here. But I actually kind of like it. So to balance it out. <laughs> I don't think I've taken a dark color all the way up to my brow like that before. I like it. Ooh, that's dark. I like it though. I'm also, whatever's left over on this brush, I'm gonna just sweep that under here. No additional product. For my inner corner highlight, of course, I'm gonna use a different brush. For my inner corner and brow bone, I'm going to use Juno. I'm going to take this up a little bit higher just so all of this isn't so dark in this area. Well, like in this area up here. This is a Real Techniques brush. Um, Instapop crease brush, it says. Back to this brush, no additional product. Just blending that. And we're also going to use this on the, and I'm going to turn it to use the flat side. And we're going to put that right here. And also as a brow bone highlight. No additional product. And so that is the eye look with the shadow. I'm going to speed through putting on liner. Finally done. I don't believe I've done a look this dark <laughs> with this palette before and I'm sure it's because I put the purple and then Nude Vino as my transition shades. I do like the look. Let me know what you think. I'm feeling kind of vampy. The first lippy I put on was the Fenty Stunner in Underrated and I thought it was going to go. I wasn't sure. I thought it was a little too bright for the eyes and so then I went over it with the Fenty Lipstick and Clapback which is a navy blue and I like how that color turned out and so I might do that combination again. Stay tuned. You'll see the second look soon. Hey guys, back again. Yes, thank you for being here for me to moisturize my lips. Excuse my under eye area. Oh, it feels so good. Yeah, I did a wrong move today with my under eye area, so I know it's looking crazy. Today we're going to do a look with the four colors that Monica chose and I'm going to show you what they are and swatch them. She chose 
per se, which is a creamy matte. Livid, which is a dual chrome. Magnolia, which is a chroma crystal. And Dragon Bite, which is also a dual chrome. And so I'm going to swatch those really quick. This is per se. This is Magnolia. This is Dragon Bite. And this is Livid. So those are the colors we're working with today for this look. And I'm excited and I'm looking at them, trying to figure out what to do with them. I'm gonna use Magnolia for maybe like the first third of the lid and also as a brow bone highlight. My eyes are primed with the Fenty Eyeshadow Primer. I'm also going to take this on the flat side of the brush. I'm going to take Dragon Bite on the, the center of the lid. I'm going to take a clean brush and go in with Livid on the remainder, remainder of the lid. And this is um, Scott Barnes number 61 brush, the same as this one that we just used. The first brush I used is an Instapop crease brush from Real Techniques. We're gonna use um, Scott Barnes number 62 brush. We're gonna take Per Se, and that's gonna go all up in here. A brush with no product at all whatsoever to blend that. Almost forgot about my lower lash line. I'm going to take Dragon Bite on the first half of the lower lash line and then live it on the second half of the lower lash line. I'm going to switch brushes. Ooh, that got in my eye. Going in with Livid. No product on here. This is the one I use to blend up here. I'm going to speed through liner. As you can see, I got eyeliner down here. I don't know what to do to fix that. <laughs> oh, goodness. The only thing I can think to do to fix it is just to actually put it down there. But let me see if I can smudge it. Oh, gosh. And it's not really smudging. So I'm going to put some more of this down here <laughs> to make it look like it was intentional. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. I don't think I've ever done that before. I'm not a fan of pulling eyes because I already have wrinkles and things, but this is like a waterproof eye pencil and I do want to smudge it, but I don't think it is. I'm going to go back into the palette and take Per Se, one of Monica's four colors, and try to blend that or something or make it so it doesn't look so harsh. <laughs> Excuse me. Mascara. My eyes are tearing. I'm gonna keep it simple. <laughs> A neutral lip tip this time. This is the Fenty Gloss Bomb in Hot Chocolate. This is the finished look. I like it. I like that it's colorful, but it's neutral. Let me know what you think.
Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And don't forget to check out Monica's videos also. And you will see me in the next video. Thanks. Bye.